So the find object wizard is under window objects in the code builder list in the editor and it gives us a very easy and quick way of identifying an element, a UI element by simply dragging this to the object we want to interact with. We can then say what we want to do with it. So I'm going to say I want to click on it and then let's choose another one. Let's say multiply Multiply it by 5. You can see information about the object appearing here. And then let's choose equals. So if I step through the code that it's produced, over here you can see it's manipulating calculator. And let's look at Internet Explorer, which it also works with. So, for example, if we drag this down to the search box, you can see it's identified it as enter your search term. Let's set its value. And then find the search button. So now if we step through that, let's make this smaller so you can see, I'll just step that bit, you can see it set the value and then it's clicked on the search button and search for it. Now if you're working with a sort of a more of an older style application that doesn't expose elements using UI automation, you can just use this to find the window handle. So for example, we'll find this and at the top it's giving us the class name of the object as well as the class name of the parent and we'll just ignore this and there you can see that it's got the handle of the calculator window and then use that in the find object function along with the class name of the thing we pointed at and its instance to, to then return the handle and the position of the object. So that gives us a slightly lower level way um, that we can find an ordinary windowed control and then we could interact with it using some of the other window functions or using the mouse now that we've got the position.